Lou, this past weekend, I got the, the privilege, the honor of hosting the new screensavers, and that meant I got to speak with uh, the CEO, uh, uh, Greg Friesmuth, from Aerial Skyworks Systems, or Skyworks Aerial Systems. I, I'm always confusing those. And he's got a very interesting concept. It's something that I, I think we could bring both to, say, the Coding 101 and uh, my know-how community, and that is, how can you make people learn by building things. And when I say building things, I mean both the hardware and the software. This is something that we've, we've spoken about with some of our guests, right? This idea of foundational knowledge. Yeah, I mean, hands-on is always better. I mean, it always gets you, you know, deep into it, gets you kind of moving, and it helps you remember stuff, so definitely. Yeah, and what his company is trying to do specifically is they're trying to take something that's very popular right now, drones, and he's trying to give people a, a Lego kit of sorts, a way to combine different pieces of hardware, software, sensors, Linux computers, along with code that you could develop on the IDE you got on your computer, be it a JavaScript or, a, say, a, a .NET module that you can load into one of these computers and have your drone follow a waypoint, or maybe do agricultural research. In, in any case, he can explain it much better than I can. And without further ado, here's Greg Friesmuth from Skyworks Aerial Systems. Uh, we, we saw that a lot of the drone kits out there were very uh, kind of high level barrier to entry uh, for people who are just looking to get into the hobby or learning to or looking to learn about, about the technology. So we created a very simple, uh, compatible with a lot of other friendly technologies out there um, unit that uh, we really think makes it a lot easier to get into drones and creating new drone applications. It's compatible with like Arduino, uh, Little Bits, the Little Bits Cloud Bit can talk to it. Um, it connects via Wi-Fi to your computer. There's a great uh, ground control software that we've built. Uh, you can pre-program it and have it do waypoints and missions and all that stuff. So it's very, very capable uh, and uh, priced pretty reasonably for somebody who's just looking to get into this market. Uh, let me ask you something. We do cover drones pretty extensively mm -hmm. on the Twit TV network, especially in our maker show. We've also done it in our coding show and even in our enterprise show. But there are still people who will look at something like this and say, it's a toy. Mm -hmm. You're trying to do something more with this. This is what I like about this, this project. With the sensors and with the programmability of the controller, you're trying to show people all the possibilities in building drones. Yep, exactly. Uh, you know, there's every every time we talk to somebody new about drones, they they say, "Oh, I have this really cool idea of how to use this at my work," or "How I, I thought I was thinking about this the other day. What if somebody had a drone that did this?" And we're like, "That's a great idea. You know, why don't if you if you knew how to do it, you could do it," sort of thing. Or if somebody who is a a tech developer or somebody who has decent electronics ability um, can pick it up and build a drone that does that. We we kind of want to enable that in them. Let's say let's say I back the project mm -hmm. at the high level, what will I get and what can I create with what I get? So um, you get a, a the plastic pieces, you get the main frame that comes with a brain board that we call Lucy, uh, which is compatible with Intel Edison. So you can actually just pop an Intel Edison to the top of this thing and uh, it, it has Arduino headers on it so you can put your favorite Arduino shield into it. Uh, you know, you can talk to the Edison. It's a full, you know, Linux computer running on there. Um, there's a second processor on there that runs all the flight control dynamics, so you don't actually have to worry about any of that. Uh, very intelligent motor controllers built into the board. So there's one board for the entire for the entire drone. Uh, you put it in, you connect the motors, and you're good to go. Uh, we think that, uh, you know, the m melding of software and hardware is very important to uh, the future of this technology. And um, the software we've built is really easy to use. It's built as this very beginner platform where I know basic JavaScript. I can pick that up and learn to program my drone. So there's lesson plans built into it. There's actually coding blocks. Uh, it will detect the sensors that you plug in. So you can just plug in a sensor. It'll pop up on your web interface. It's accessible through your phone. Uh, so you can actually uh, you know, change your code while you're out in the field on your phone, just connecting to the Wi-Fi hotspot it creates. Awesome. And, and, and a, big, yeah. a big focus of us and a big passion is, is teaching sort of the next generation of, of people who are going to be doing this. So we've, we've been having people donate classroom packs as part of our Kickstarter. And uh, uh, the, the classroom packs are going to schools, high schools, where 
uh, people will, you know, kids will learn how to do this stuff. And uh, so another piece of it is safety. So we've actually created very intelligent speed controllers. So if you actually put your finger in the rotors, uh, they'll, oh, they'll wow. detect that and stop the, the rotor instantly. So, uh, uh, which is it, it kind of an adding a little bit of safety and intelligence. We also use a really lightweight, flimsy plastic. So they're not like the carbon fiber blades. Well, I mean, you're, you're designing this to teach people. And when, exactly. when people are learning the first time, they're going to make stupid mistakes. It, and that it, would be a stupid mistake. Exactly. So... Um, I, I noticed you've got to, so this expansion board on top here. These are all I2C expansion ports. Yeah. So I I could really load this thing up with every kind of industry standard sensor I can think of. Yep. Uh, a, a lidar cameras, mm -hmm. uh, height sensors, barometers. Yep. Uh, what what's your ultimate end game for this? I mean, yeah, you're selling the kit right now. Mm -hmm. uh, which, by the way, where can they find it? Uh, it's on Kickstarter right now. Uh, there's a few days left in our Kickstarter campaign. We're looking to get people to jump in and uh, join on it. So uh, if you just search EEDU on Google, I believe it's the first result for our Kickstarter. So yeah. It's Greg Friesmuth from Skyworks Aerial Systems. Thank you very yep. much for coming on to the new screen savers. I, I love drones, and I love to see the fact that you're trying to make it easy for people mm -hmm. to get into the field. Well, thank you very yeah. much for having me. You know, Lou, one of the things that uh, really strikes me about this is, uh, of course, in one of my other shows, in Know How, uh, we're building quads all the time. We're building drones every week, uh, almost every week. There's been, there was two months that we didn't do it out of, like, the last year. But the hardware is pretty much the hardware. Go down to this, the Edu kit or the home-built kit or to one of the store-bought kits. The hardware is going to look the same. The big differentiator and the one that is making it a multi-billion dollar industry is the software. I saw two projects coming up on GitHub. One was for agriculture. They were trying to make an open source package that would load, load up on something about the, the, the processing power of a Raspberry Pi. It would sit shotgun to the flight controller of a drone. And you could, you could program a waypoint navigation around your field. So if you're a farmer, you send your drone up, it does a loop around your field, and then it comes back and it actually analyzes what areas of your crops need more nutrients, more water, attention. I mean, that's amazing. That's, that's something that you, could, you used to only get with thousands and thousands of dollars worth of gear or hours and hours of manpower. There was another one on GitHub that I, I found very intriguing because it's just starting. Someone wanted to be able to use millimeter radar on a drone combined with GPS to send it up and do land surveying. You know, you know how you see those, the civil engineers with the, the survey mm -hmm. tools? Well, this could cover an area that would take a team of civil engineers a week to cover in like 30 seconds. I mean, this... Amazing. It, 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 and the, the, the wonderful thing about it is it's all programming. It's all the software. The hardware's the same. I, I really believe that this is going to be one of those areas where there's going to be a race. The, the next team of programmers is going to make the killer drone app. Sorry, the, excuse the pun there. But the killer <laughs> drone app that everyone's going to need for their industry. I, I, I mean, how, how many drones do you have roaming around Microsoft? <laughs> well, you know, we, we have the ones that actually, you know, they survey the main campus. So I've seen them actually roaming around. Most likely they're people that own them. I don't think Microsoft actually owns them. But, <laughs> you know, you get video of people like, you know, on you know, they post them online or in our internal network. But it's pretty amazing. I mean, it's what they can do with them. Yeah. And it really does fit the Coding 101 motto, this idea of taking a real world problem, breaking it down into its components, and then figuring out a programming solution. That's exactly what we're doing. Except now we're like on the forefront. I mean, if you're getting into this area, it's brand new. It's like when the Silicon Valley first started. Very few of the big players are in here. There's a lot of startups. There's a lot of individuals. There's a lot of, of programming groups. And I think uh, I, you know, maybe we could push the Coding 101 crew into making the next generation of smart drones. I know. Yeah, go figure. Uh, now, I do want to give them a shout out. Uh, Zach, if you could show their Kickstarter page. Uh, they, unfortunately, they got onto the new screen servers a little bit late. I wish they had come out earlier in the month where we could give them more of a lead. But, you know, they're at 53,000. So they, you know, they need 100 grand. Um, I'd love to be able to push them over the edge. I mean, they, it's less than a day left. They're probably not going to make it. But if, if you're interested in their kit or if you want to support a local school by buying a kit for a local school, it's, I think it's a worthy cause. I mean, if, if you're into hardware, electrical engineering, computer engineering, computer science, this, this is a great cause. What do you think, Lou? Yeah, even if you're just into having fun, this looks like amazing. Looks like a lot of fun. I'm going to probably get it for my son.